What's up, YouTube? You're with Graph Angel One, my co-host Alice Darling. Today, we're gonna open a couple boxes of new toys and see what's inside. Remember, subscribe, share, tell your friends, and thanks for watching. You got a deep control top handy hook. Look closer. Now don't be shy. Your heart to resist. This is National Educational Television. Number one. What do you think's inside it, Alice? You want to smell? You want to smell? You think she knows? You think she knows what's inside? Alice, what's inside the box? What's inside? Let's find out. Where is the box cutter? Box cutter. It's the magical instrument for opening toys and accidentally hurting yourself as a grown man. Let's see what we got, Alice. See what's in the box. You ready? You ready, baby? Okay. This is. Oh. What is this? What is this? I don't know what's in this box. Oh. Magical surprise. We've got another gargoyle. We've got Goliath. And he is in really good shape, but we need wings. Alice, we need wings. Where are the wings, baby? Where are the wings indeed? All right, you ready? You ready for this? So in my last video, you might remember a bunch of the gargoyles that we had didn't have wings. Well, that was anticlimactic. So, I made sure to get wings. So now we have Goliath, and I think he goes like this. And let's see. Uh, check that out. Check out that Goliath. That is awesome. Check that out, though. That Goliath is awesome. Alice, what do you think? What do you think? Can you see? You like him? I think he's very cool. So that that is one of the coolest toys ever. Um, he's got these cloth wings that kind of pop out. Really cool like. Um, I don't know, we'll zoom in on him if we can. Try to some detail on that face. The sculpts weren't all that detailed. Like this isn't, you know, a new Legends figure or anything, but it's pretty awesome. Alright. <laughs> Alright, who do we have next? What do we have next, Alice? What's next? This one? This one? This one. This one. 
for this one. This one. This one. Uh, you see it? She wants this one. Alright. Gonna open up new toys. This box is marked with the classic Brigile. So, gotta be careful. It might be worth something. Who do we have? In the box, we have action figures. We have action figures, Alex. So this was not a very popular toy line, but there's just something cool about them. And when I can get, you know, a handful of action figures for under 15 bucks, sold. We have Dick Tracy action figures. I don't even think Dick Tracy's super cool, but yeah, I, awesome. All right, so we have him. I don't remember all of their names, so maybe you guys can help me out. Alice, do you remember? Hmm? Do you remember the names? Who, do you remember his name? Uh, you weren't born yet. Alice wasn't born yet. Uh, do we know his name? Anyone know his name? Okay, somebody tell me his name. I think, I think this is the only one. I think this is Mumbles, and I think he was played by Dustin Hoffman. In the movie. I remember seeing that movie when I was a little kid in the theater. My friend, uh, well, my friend, she was my babysitter. She, she snuck me in. Uh, to the projection booth because she used to work there and so I got to see the movie partly through the little projection booth and everything but I remember I saw it it was like seven o'clock at night I kept falling asleep I couldn't stay awake um, but I did see it in the theater I was very young uh, do we know his name it's probably something like wrinkles Four figures so far. Um, I, I gotta look up all their names, man. I don't know. I don't know. Is this Green Suit? Green Suits McGee, probably. Uh, this is, I think, an Al Pacino action figure, so that's cool. This, maybe. Is that him? The movie had a huge cast. I mean, Warren Beatty. Oh, that wasn't Pacino. That was someone else. Here's the Pacino action figure. Let's see, I still don't remember his name, but I think he was like the main bad guy. Kind of looks like him. Okay, right. a little bit. Not as cool. Then we got we got this guy. This guy is probably like, I don't know, the waiter. Or something. But. Uh, Alex, what do you think? Do you like him? He likes him. Cool. So that's, that's all that's in that box. Extra, extra, read all about it! One of Dick Tracy's junior detectives has witnessed the killer's itchy and flat top leaving the scene of a crime. Luckily, he's got on the Dick Tracy two-way wristwatch, the best way to keep in touch with headquarters. The transmit button activates the voice monitoring light, and the built-in working watch keeps super accurate time. Will Dick Tracy get there, or will itchy and flat top get away? Find out next time. Dick Tracy, Biggers Vehicles and Watch Eat Sold separately from Playmates. We only have one box left. I know it hasn't been a crazy exciting haul or anything, but it's exciting to me. So that leaves this one, which I'm actually most excited about. I like to save the best for last. Uh, what's in here should be the other half of my Bucky O'Hare collection. 
So, those of you who don't know, Alex, you know who Captain Bucky O'Hare is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Trump is gonna make him the new leader of Space Force, so let's see. We're gonna pull my Bucky O'Hare's off the shelf. So we have, um, we have, I think, Dog Star. Dead Eye Duck. Who was one of my favorites. Um, I think this was just some sort of like Toad Warrior. I don't really remember all their names. Um, Alligator. Alligator. There's a pretty cool bootleg of him floating around where it's like half him and half Mondo Gecko from the Ninja Turtles. If you find him, I want him. Don't remember this awesome guy's name. But he was very cool. And then, uh, then the captain, Captain Bucky O'Hare. So, Bucky O'Hare was, you know, a space thing in the 90s, competing with Ninja Turtles at the time. Um, I think there might have been like a season or two, but he's a comic book character. He's got a new toy line that I really want to get by um, uh, Boss Fight Studios, I think. So, I really want those new ones. If anyone's got a hook up, let me know. Alright, so, <laughs> yes, yes, so we have, we have another Toad Warrior here, pretty cool. This is going to be awesome, because other than the vehicle, this is the set. Um, we have the, the Toad Commander. Like two inches tall. <laughs> He's really funny. Uh, you see the Toad Commander? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Toad Commander? She gets bored of this sometimes. Alice, you bored? Are you pretty? Who's so pretty? It's Alice. Look at her. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. Okay. Uh, we have another one of him up for trades. Anyone wants him? We could trade him. Uh, we have Blinky. Who like the Bucky O'Hare Fugitoid. And we have this guy who needs his helmet. Um, I, I think he's the only one I didn't want as a kid because he had a human face. So I don't like humans. I don't like humans. Alex, do you like humans? We love me, but we don't like humans. So that's really it. That's that's the collection of toys that we have right now. Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! He goes where no ordinary rabbit would dare. Look out! It's the Toad Double Bubble! Listen! I love that shout! Oh no, it's after Willy! <laughs> the Double Bubble's got gruesome gripper claws. Hang on, Willy! It's Bucky to the rescue in the Toad Croaker. Let's croak Toad! I hate that sound! Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! Bucky! That's Bucky! Bucky O'Hare! Toad Croaker, Double Bubble, and Figure sold separately. This is National Educational Television. During happy times, pride and extravagance are dangerous. If one is not prudent in ordinary times, he will not be able to catch up. A person who advances during good times will falter during the bad. So... The Hagikure, The Book of the Samurai by Yamamoto Sunotomo and translated by William Scott Wilson. Um, book's got a lot of wisdom in it. And today's quote uh, means a lot. So I deal with a manic depressive thing. It, it, it's both an amazing gift 
and a torrid, horrible curse. Um, the gift is during those manic times where I'm just so productive. I could do a hundred billion projects at once. Some really beautiful artwork. I don't stop. I just can't stop moving. And then it stops. And then I crash. And then the darkness creeps in. And it's really troubling. And I have to hold on to certain things like Alice, you know, I have to remember that I don't belong to myself. I belong to anybody who I've ever made smile or sad or feel anything. So that quote resonates for me as those who flourish and can only benefit in those very happy times struggle with the bad. And although I do, I have find, I, I found almost a peace in the depressing times where I miss it because it's when I'm the most neutral and in control. When I'm in the very happy manic times, I love what I create. I mean, it's just so much fun and, and I'm, I'm addicted to it. But I know it's going to go away. So I need to find balance. So that quote comes full circle to us finding balance on this show. I know we haven't spoken about it recently. But um, with every good, there will be a bad. With every life, there will be a death. And we can't live in the moments of happiness because they are moments and they fleet. Uh, we need to appreciate the happiness. Let it wash over us, really feel it. But we need to know that happiness is only one side of the balance. And life isn't a quest for happiness, but a quest for peace. Thank you for joining us today on I Can't Wait Till Tomorrow Ends. We'll see you next time. This is my pod. Pedal. Pepe. Sit down. Pepe. It'll chill you right up. Cake. Four. You can put me. We control the taste just. Produces seven shampoos for the real world, where all women are different. Clairol Essence Shampoo.